Every girl has a Barbie living inside. I don't know about you guys, but I love pink. I was about to create a Barbie box out of fridge box. Huh? Hey guys, I found this fridge box from our local appliance store. It was a very difficult find. I don't know if this is gonna make it to my YouTube channel, but my first trial, as usual, was an epic failure. I used a whole bunch of foam boys and trying to stick them together and just realized it was very hard to stick the wrapping paper and it was very impossible to make a clean Barbie box out of foam boards. Fingers crossed. First thing first is to start the opening. I have a feeling this is going to be another challenge. Since my Barbie box is missing the bottom, I'm going to use the cutout piece to attach to the bottom. I'm going to use a foam board also attached to the bottom of the, the box. Just using regular packaging tape. Let's start fresh. I used a gift wrapping paper and a double sided tape just to wrap all the visible sides. I wasn't too worried about the back. Now it's the time to see the miracle. Now it's me testing the size of the opening. The box is a little bit too small for me. It would be better if the size was a little bit bigger, but oh well, you get what you get. Now in terms of the Barbie cutout, um, I initially was planning to make the letters on the foam board. You can see the thickness of the foam board. However, I thought it's going to be a disaster for me to cut out every single letter. And if, if I stuff it up, I stuff the entire board. Um, rather than doing it on the foam board, I bought another piece of card. So hopefully it's easier to come nice and clean. So I'm going to do an outline on the foam board. I think the less curves there are, the easier my life is going to be. So I've decided to um, line up these lines rather than making the curves. That is called precision craft knife, looks like that. See how the curves are not as clean as the sharp lines? And here it's a little bit rough. That's okay, I hope. The individual letters. Stick my printouts onto the card. Now all done. B A R B I E. Now stick glue. I think it looks pretty good to me. Let's put it onto the box and have a look. Now Jenny is cutting some foam boards for me to put underneath the box. This goes under. I'm going to use my heat gun to reinforce the, um, the corners and along the bottom of my board. Just you know, the kids, you never know what they're going to do with them. Here we go. Now the final touch is to paint the pink paint on, on the edges and top, any way that I can see I need to touch it up. Here's a very fine detail, the joint between two wrapping paper to stick a star from a party garland. So here's how it looks in the end. Now it's my shooting day and the fun part. <laughs> Selfish mum photographer. I can't miss such a beautiful setup with <gasps> me and my daughter. Okay. Oh, sugar baby, yeah. Put my camera on my tripod, 10 seconds timer, <laughs> and pose ourselves. <laughs> Here is the selfie. Okay, let's have a look at the dimensions. The height of the box 165 centimeters, the width 70 centimeters, and the depth 65 centimeters. That Barbie logo board 30 centimeters high and 60 centimeters wide. That's about the opening's width 60 centimeters by 1.2 meters. So we can shoot kids up to 1.2 meters. If they are higher than that, you may want them to sit down. That is the side of the box. The fabric backdrop here is from Baby Dream Backdrops. So it looks like a 2.5 meters high and three meters long to me anyways i'll drop the link in the description down below okay so that is the end of my barbie box project and if you're trying to do your own barbie box make sure you tag me on instagram please remember to hit the subscribe and like button i'll see you again in the next video bye